hello and welcome again in this video we are quickly gonna uh, detect the active menu as well as we will learn about HTML5 uh, history mode so let's see what all of this is going to do first of all if I click on the dashboard look at the URL here it is going to the home dashboard because we were already on the home page if I click on the profile it is going to profile so what I'm going to do I don't need to go to the home and then profile I just want to go to profile something like this and if I go and do it like this one it should give us an error because it is a get request and it is going to say not found so what I will do is I will remove this one and still it is not working so if you go to the documentation of the the laravel the, the not laravel the view uh, router they will say that you can pass a mode of history it will just uh, check out the URL and then in the URL you can um, look at the history of the URL where it was before and then it will show the content based on that so I will come to the assets JavaScript file here and then you know there is the router there is our route and then I will paste the mode here okay it gives us an error because of two commas I will save again it should um, be fine this time so let's go to our application and here if I refresh it now we are in the the same home and if I click on the profile you can see this is a slash profile if I click on the dashboard it is a slash dashboard profile dashboard profile dashboard now it is fine there is another error like if someone uh, just uh, select the URL and click enter it is going to show us an uh, 404 because it is uh, uh, they, they expect that you are looking for a Laravel route which we are not going to look for a Laravel route because we do not have any route for the dashboard so if I check out the route API here we don't have any that's why it is going to show you a 404 page you can solve it easily like by adding a few lines of code here so I search around the internet when I was doing this one this was happening for me so I just found a um, short code here that I will just explain how it is going to work so make sure you add the code in the last uh, line of your code M I mean the other routes should be above this one so what it is going to do it is going to search for any path which matches this content I mean they are using the regular expression and they say it should be a to z and then they should have a let's say hyphen they must uh, they might contain underscore and all of those stuff and you should redirect them somewhere so this is what they are going to do they will, they will redirect them to the index so what I'm going to do is refresh it save it and this time if I refresh my page what it is gonna do here is the dashboard and yeah it is going to display our home uh, our dashboard here so this is how easy you can solve it I go to the dashboard you are the dashboard profile even if someone refresh it it is going to display the profile component here that is easy to solve like you can do it I will just uh, push the changes on github you can start, you can take a look at the web.php next up we have the active URLs the active menu if I click on this one it is not uh, going to active that so what is going to happen first of all if I open the master.blade.php this one already has the active class so I will remove this one they should not be active by default right so if I save it and refresh the page now we don't have any active so I will open an inspect element developer tool and select the dashboard we are in the dashboard page already if you look at the dashboard they have a class from the view router they see view router exact active and view and there is a router link active so if I click on the profile let me see here is the profile the profile do not have that one right if I click on this one you can see that class have been added to the profile if I click on the dashboard it will be added on the dashboard it, it means we can select this class and we can give it a little styling so I will copy this one going to the SAS app the CSS all the way down and say we have a class and it must have a background of for for example red and a color of white I will save it and let's see this time what will happen let me compile that yes 
refresh the page ah yeah now we are in the dashboard and it is showing uh, a red background for this one if i click on the profile the profile is red and if i click on this one it will show it like this very easy but i will change the red because this is very direct red and what we want is let's say this color or this color let me see which one looks better i think this one is a lot better so i will copy this we will come here mm, and paste it save it the next thing is you know that th there is something that the white is not working but that's why it, this is not white so what i'm going to do is this is gonna be important if again it is not working yeah it is working now it is white so what i'm going to do after this one we say the white color is important i'll save it and this is the last change we bring so refresh the page now our dashboard should have a background of uh, blue and if i click on the profile now profile is active that is this much easy so i hope it has been informative for you if you have any question feel free to ask below the video we will continue on and i will keep um, recording video as well as i will push the changes on github you can uh, check out the github repo and see if you have the same uh, uh, code that i have so thank you for watching i see you see you in the next video